heart that hurts I want to spend my life Mending broken people I want to spend my life Mending broken people this place I've touched the hem of his garment and I can almost see his face and my heart is overflowing with the fullness of his joy I know without a doubt that I have been I feel the presence of the Lord in this place even now. It's a pleasure to be with you today and to share with you some of the songs that God has given to me and that the trio has been singing over the years. Uh, people have often asked me, what is your favorite Lanny Wolf song? And I always tell them the same thing. I can't have one favorite. If you had 700 children, you couldn't say you had a favorite out of 700. But I do say that there are some that are very special. So today, we're going to choose the top 10 special songs to the Lanny Wolf Trio. And there's so many, and it was so hard to do. But here we go. The one we just finished was, of course, in the top 10. And it's very special how it was written and the fact that it's blessed so many people all over the world. This uh, second song in the top 10 uh, came about when the trio was stopping at Stuckey's for gas and pecans, walked by a rack that had wood plaques, 
And this one wood plaque caught my eye. It simply said, funny how I keep falling in love with you over and over again. And when I saw that plaque, it just arrested my attention. I took my dollar out of the pocket, paid for it at the counter, got my monies back many, many times over. And the Lord just gave me a moment of truth with, I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. He gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what a love between my Lord and I just keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. When I first fell in love with Jesus, I gave him There's a hand that I hold on to Through each valley and each trial There's a shoulder that I lean upon As I face another mile There's a love that I can depend on It's fresh and new each day And with love my heart is overflowing That is why I say Falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. He gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what a love between my Lord and I. Just keep falling in love with him over and over. Well, either we're singing that song faster now or we're running out of breath than when we first got the song. Uh, that's been a favorite of ours over the years. Marita, if you had to choose one, it might be. Well, the first one that was my favorite, and it was my favorite for a long time, and it's still one of my favorites, but you really can't pick just one was the song you wrote when you were 17 or 18, one of the very first songs that the Lord gave to you. And it says, only Jesus can satisfy your soul. And I feel like God gave that song to you at that time in your life. You were getting ready to go into Ohio State University. You were get, getting ready to start on your path of life that you had thought you wanted to go down. Thought I was gonna be an architect. Mm -hmm. But then God wanted to drop this into your heart and let you know that no matter where you go, where this road takes you, you've got to remember that I'm the only one that can satisfy your soul. You might get distracted with some of the things that this world has to offer, and especially in our colleges today, our young people are just so threatened by all of the uh, voices that are speaking to them that are basically from the gates of hell, and they can get so confused. But God let you know right then, I'm the only one that can satisfy your soul. And it has stayed with you all the way through your life, and it's a song that's very simple and it's very easy to witness to somebody and just tell them, the world will try to satisfy that longing in your soul. You may search the wide world o'er, but 
you'll be just as before you'll never find true satisfaction until you found the lord for only jesus only he can satisfy your soul gave me the song at 17 but he didn't give me those chords until later <laughs> uh, my favorite four lines out of all gospel music would be the last verse of amazing grace which says when we've been there 10,000 years bright shining as the sun we've no less days to sing his praise than when we first begun the greatest four lines in this songwriter's estimation of all gospel music. Now, if I had to choose the favorite four lines that God has given to Lanny Wolf, they would be from this song, the second verse. The song is, I love you. It's not as well known as more than wonderful or surely the presence, but it has my favorite four lines. And Rita, I'd like for you to sing it now. They say your picture paints a thousand words. And if that's true, I know I could never really say all I'd like to say, though I painted all my life away. So I'm right back where I started from, at a loss for words, so I'm back to one. Very simple phrase that shall fill my days. It's simply I love you, I love you, I love you, Lord, I love you, what more can I say but that I really love you, and I will try. I really love you. Let's sing it again. 
their favorite. Jesus, we crown you with praise. Jesus, we crown you with praise. We couldn't have a top 10 Lanny Wolf songs without the next song. We may not get to all 10 in this program, so if we don't get to all 10, we'll pick up what we didn't get in this one later on another program. This song was so special just because of how it was uh, born. I went to the Benson Company with enough songs for two Second Coming musicals. They shot that down real fast. The president of the Benson Company said, churches are not gonna do Second Coming, they'll do Christmas. So write a song about Isaiah 9-6. I did, brought it back. He said, ah, Lanny, I don't think we should put it in the musical. And furthermore, I quote Bob McKenzie. God rest his soul. <laughs> uh, Lanny, you can write a better song. I begged, Bob, please let us put it in the musical. He finally decided to let us put it in the musical. I said, let's have Sandy Patty and Larno Harris come together and do it. They weren't even in the studio at the same time. And when they went to mix this down in the sound room, whoa, whoa, anointing, anointing. They sang at the praise gathering and Thanksgiving. The following February, I believe, they got a Grammy for their performance in April. It got Song of the Year. I got Songwriter of the Year. And the lesson that I learned was when God gives you a gift, whatever it is, I'm a songwriter, whatever your gift is, when God gives it to you, protect it. Remember the angel came to Joseph and said, don't go back the way you came. Go back a different Heaven was protecting the child. You protect your child. I protected my child. Please let us put it in the musical. So the same person that assigned the song easily became the Herod to abort it. I had to protect the child. The rest is history. You know it. Uh, I'm not lying in a house. <laughs> <Sandy Beth. laughs> so get over it. This is the way you can sing it with us at home. <laughs> uh, he's more wonderful than my mind can conceive. He's more wonderful than my heart can believe. He goes beyond my highest hopes and fondest dreams. He's everything my soul ever long for everything he's promised and so much more more than amazing more than marvelous more than miraculous could ever be he's more than wonderful that's what jesus is to me my soul ever long for everything he's promised and so much more more than amazing more than marvelous more than miraculous could ever be he's more than wonderful that's what jesus is to me And the lesson that I learned from that was, had I got my way and had the Benson Company done a second coming musical, the song More Than Wonderful would never have been assigned. It would never have been written. It would have never gotten a Grammy or a Dove. So God knows what he's doing 
We just have to be, we have to be careful to make sure we get in the wagon, fasten the seat belt, but let him pull the wagon. Right. Uh, Dave, uh, any favorite on your part? Well, I think my favorite would be a song that's one that I wrote. Right. Uh, Jesus will be what makes it heaven for me. And you know, the walls of Jasper and the streets of gold, it's going to be awesome. But Jesus is what's going to make it heaven for all of us. Sung at many funerals, one of my favorite, probably my most favorite song, it says, Well, I've heard of, it's a land that it's wondrously fair. They say that its splendor is far beyond compare. In that place that's called heaven, my soul longs to be. For where Jesus is, it will be heaven for me. We sang it at my father's funeral, and we sang it at my mother's funeral. And so many folks uh, across the land have requested that be sung at their funeral because it's such a wonderful hope. Yeah. The hope is not streets of gold. It's not all that stuff that, that, that is a backdrop. It's all a backdrop to Jesus who will make it heaven. The, the next song, I don't know if you can pan over here, uh, this is the trio singing at the Dove Awards, and we had uh, three Lanny Wolf songs in the top ten nominated that year. Uh, one of them was Greater Is He, and we were singing it there. The Downings kind of made it very popular, and Oral Roberts used it as his official closing song, Six Years on 120 Stations, Simply Greater Is He. Greater is he that is in me. Greater 
greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Satan's like a roaring lion roaming to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. The Bible tells me so. Many souls have been his prey to fall in some weak hour. But God has promised us today his overcoming power. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. On the day of Pentecost, a rushing mighty wind blew into the upper room and baptized all of them with a power greater than any earthly fall. And I'm so glad I've got it too. I'm going to let the whole world know. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. One more time. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. All of that, God is greater. We're going to leave the Downies do that. Uh, one of my very favorite songs in the top 10 would have to be a song that has blessed so many people. I was preaching at a college midweek service and uh, I'll never forget, I poured my heart out. Uh, I expected to have the whole student body come and travail at the altar. They didn't do that. Uh, they were so used to going downstairs for hamburgers and refreshments after the service. So finished my sermon. They came and did uh, what I think would be like a uh, just a patty cake prayer. Now I lay me down to sleep. And so they were just there just a few minutes and got up and left. And I was so crushed because they didn't get my sermon. So I went under the grand piano and it was there that God gave me this song, Whatever It Takes. And um, the amazing thing that I understand years later is the fact that had the students gotten my sermon, the world would never have gotten this song. And so many people that have been touched by this would never have uh, received this song had I got my way. My way was to preach my sermon. They were supposed to come and just have a, 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 you know, an hour prayer meeting at the end of my sermon. I've learned over the years to trust God. And when things happen that we want to think are negative, so many times they are not really negative in God's economy. One, one lady from Illinois, she wrote and she said, my husband is an electrician, got electrocuted on the pole. The doctor said that if he would uh, live, he would be just a vegetable at best. She said, this coming Sunday, he is going to go to church and he's going to sing, take the dearest things to me, if that's how it must be. So many people have had life-changing events that they uh, have this song as a backdrop. So Marita, I'd like for you to sing the first verse, whatever it takes. There's a voice calling me from an old rugged tree and it whispers draw closer to me leave this world far behind there are new heights to climb and a new place in me And this song, God gave Lanny the second and third verse and the chorus. Where with it, all that you had talked about, take the dearest thing. You were telling God all the things you wanted him to do. But we needed a way to get into this thought of take everything, Lord. 
I'm yours. And so he asked me if I could get a verse for it. And the Lord did this verse, I didn't. And so God said, there, or he told me, the words just came, there's a voice calling me from an old rugged tree and it whispers, it whispers. When you get these kind of dedications and commitments and consecrations, you're gonna have to get to a place where it's just you and the Lord. You've got to hear that whisper. And that's hard for a lot of people to do, to make time in their schedule to get alone with God and hear what He wants to tell you. But if you want it bad enough, you want the Lord to use you and you want to give everything you have to Him, we're going to have to go to the Lord and, say, and listen to His voice telling us. And He said, I'll take you higher than you've ever been. If you walk with me, and there may be, be, may be some struggles, but if you'll go th with me through the valley, and we'll find the mountaintop. But I just need to know that you're going to stay there, that you'll be with me no matter what I bring to you. And so I love this song because I get emotional when I sing it because every time I sing it, I mean it. And if you mean what you're saying, it's a song that... Um, requires a lot of obedience. God reminded me of this song when I got my diagnosis of breast cancer five years ago. That was my first thought. This song, I've been singing it, whatever it takes, Lord, that's what I'll be willing to do. And, and so that made that whole experience a sweet, blessed time with the Lord because I had already said, Lord, whatever it takes, I want to draw closer to you. I want to be like you. And so we went through it, and I'm still saying it. For whatever it takes to draw closer to you, Lord, that's what I'll be willing to do. all of this, Lord. Take my houses and lands. Change my dreams and my plans. For I'm placing my whole life in your hands. And if you call me today to a land far away, a black lady, 51 years of age. God caught her up and said, take your toys, sell them, and go to Jamaica. She said, God, you've got the wrong number. You've got the wrong color. I'm 51 years old. I can't. And God said, sell your toys and go to Jamaica and start an orphanage. She obeyed. She sold her toys, went to Jamaica, and she went there and she went to the hospital and there were babies in the windowsill, pus in their eyes. They were going to die by four o'clock in the afternoon. And she said, give me the babies. God sent me here to start an orphanage. They said, ma'am, we can't do this. Come back Monday and we'll see what we can do. She, w she gathered people together and they got beds and they got clothes over the weekend. She went back on Monday and she said, where are the babies? I'm here for the babies. They gathered children out of the, wind sh uh, out of the window sills that were going to die by afternoon. Gave them to her. She started an orphanage. Today, she has an orphanage of over 250 children. She has over 100 ministers that look up to her. That's because she said, take my houses and lands. Yes. Yes. And you may remember the three eight-year-old boys, West Memphis, Arkansas, uh, that were killed by supposedly teenagers that were in witchcraft. Mm -hmm. 
one of the fathers of one of the eight-year-old boys stood over the coffin of his eight-year-old child and said, take the dearest thing to me. Marita, would you sing that? This is the hardest part. Take the dearest thing to me If that's how it must be To draw me closer to thee Let the disappointments come Lonely days without the sun If through sorrow more like you to you, Lord. That's what I'll be willing to do. And whatever it takes to be more like you, that's what I'll be willing So many people have said that they couldn't sing that. They weren't ready to sing it because they couldn't really mean the words that were in the song. But I'm so glad you gave me the song, Lord, because it has ministered to so many people all over the world. I was sitting at the piano on a Sunday morning, 9.30, and God just dropped a phrase into my heart. Now, a lot of songs God gives me are... 95% God and 5% Lanny. Some are 95% Lanny, 5% God. I know when God's speaking to me because he uses some verbiage that Lanny Wolf doesn't always think and was the case in this song because it has the phrase, Jesus be the Lord of all, the kingdoms of my heart. I would not have thought that. That was a God thought. And so Jesus be the Lord of all, snuck in on the tail end of these top 10 songs and one of my favorite. In my heart are kingdoms, the world that's all my own. Kingdoms that are only seen by myself and God alone. In the past when I tried to rule my world, it just seemed to fall apart. So please, Jesus, be the Lord of all the kingdoms of my heart.
I guess I only fooled myself For I said I had yielded all But in a secret corner of my heart Was a kingdom that did not fall But I surrender What a special song. Uh, well, some of the songs that didn't make the top ten list, you might send in some of yours that are special to you. Um, One Day Too Late, remember that song? That was another song that uh, our producer, Bob McKenzie, thought was too negative, did not want us to record it. And uh, it just so happened it ended up on the top ten radio list for I don't know how many weeks because it resonated with people. There's a message there that people responded to. Praise His Holy Name from Beethoven. Had the Teak Sonata, Opus 13, number two. And so I co-wrote with Beethoven. So that'll be on a different program. Didn't make the top 10 list. My house is full. So we didn't really sing that today because it's not on the top 10. We just kind of unofficially put it in. Um, there is just no place like home. Very special song, Precious Blood. We'll do that on another program. Um, other songs that we're trying to make the top 10 list in Everything Give Thanks, very special song. And one that I really like a lot. I love him too much to, to fail him now. Too much to break my vow. For I promised the Lord that I would make it. Too much to fail him now. 
unofficial. It's, it's not the top 10. More than ever before, Lord, I love you. More than ever before, Lord, I need you. More than ever before, I've got to tell you, I love you now. More than likes to give you songs that talk about how much we love him, yes. how much we want to do for him, and how much we want to see him. And uh, there's just, we can't say it's my favorite song, because God gives so many of these, and if they're from God, they're all good. I think God gave me that song on the way to Brooklyn Tab one day, and mm -hmm. just got interrupted and said, by the way, here's a little course I need for you to teach them. Then they recorded it. Uh, seeking for me, one of Marita's favorite, yes. but didn't make the list. And oh, yes. for God so loved the world. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And God tricked me on this because He gave me the music while I was just playing under uh, the pastor in a two-week revival. And I went to find the words. I couldn't find any words except John 3.16. And, and so here I am arguing with God. Yes, I tried to argue with God. I said, God, I can't do John 3.16 because some other, so many other people have already written it. God said, John 3.16. So I taught that to James Cleveland Gospel Music Workshop of America. 1500 voice choir. Oh my Lord, have mercy. I thought I was in heaven. It was so gorgeous, so fabulous. So, so God went out on that. Now, the last song on the top 10 list for today. For today. Yes. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to tell you how God gave me this song because it's always important. Without the story, then the song isn't born. Her name is Loretta Bernard, and she's, she was a missionary to Korea, she and her husband and children for many years. And she relays the story that there was a day that she was so sick that she couldn't even pray for herself. Have you been there? Where you just feel like, I can't even pray for myself. When Loretta Bernard came back to the States doing uh, work to gather monies to go back, she was at a church in Michigan, and a dear sister came to her and said, Sister Bernard, what was the day that you were talking about when you were so sick that you couldn't even pray for yourself? Sister Bernard told her the date, and the, the sister said, that was the very night that God woke me up in the middle of the night and said, get out of bed and pray for Loretta Bernard. Halfway around the world and God wakes up a sister because somebody halfway around the world is in trouble. That's the God we serve. And so because Sister Bernard was relaying this testimony, I heard the testimony and when I heard the testimony, God gave me the song. Someone is praying for you. So remember, many times God does things in our life. God does wonderful things for us in our life. But we need to tell. We need to tell it. The world needs to hear it because God may be wanting a song to be born out of your testimony. Someone is praying for you. clouds round you gather in the midst of the storm is your ship tossed and battered are you weary and worn don't lose hope someone's praying for you this very day and peace be still is already on the way. Someone is praying for you 
when it seems that you've prayed till your strength is all gone and your tears fall like raindrops all the day long jesus cares and he knows just how much you can bear he'll speak your name to someone in prayer yes someone is praying for you Someone is praying for you right now. We're praying for you. 3ABN is praying for you. Saints around the world yes. are praying for people who are being touched by this ministry. And God will even tell someone your name. Yes, we will. don't have to know it, but he knows who it is that is calling out to him, that with their heart, they're trying to cry to you. And so we want to pray right now and ask God to meet all the needs that he knows about today. Lord, we thank you for this time that we have been able to share the wonderful songs that you have given and that you have blessed down through the years. We thank you, Lord, for your word that stands forever. We thank you, Lord, for the John 3:16 and all the scriptures that you have given us to hold on to. And Lord, today, you know who is watching this broadcast. You know who has a broken heart. You know who feels so weak that they don't think they can make it another day. You know those who have lost loved ones. You know everything, Lord. We don't know what is happening in those lives. But we ask you, Lord, right now to intervene. Touch that sick person. Touch that lonely person that needs to find someone to love and someone to care for them. Help them to reach out to you right now, Lord, and call on your name. Jesus, come into my heart. Jesus, I believe that you died and you rose again and you did it all for me. Lord, we pray that you would take these needs right now in your great big arms and touch by your spirit. Amen. Dave, would you sing that Thank second you. verse again? When it seems like you've prayed And your strength is all gone And your tears fall like raindrops All the day long Jesus came to someone in prayer. So when it seems you're 